write down my favorites because my brain. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to click subscribe before you leave. Also, click the little bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Why not? Alright, so today I'm going to be doing my March, wait, no, my April favorites. So I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I love for the month of April. This month I have been loving one of my all time favorite foundations and it is the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. I just had this like weird MAC urge this month and I just went and got a bunch of things from MAC and I just fell in love with all of them basically. So one of them is the foundation, this is the Studio Sculpt Foundation and I absolutely loved it for so long and I decided to get another bottle of it. So. I've been using this foundation non-stop. I really, really love it. I've also been loving the Dior Skin Foundation, which I only had this for like a week and a half so far, so I feel kind of funny mentioning it. But it's such a good foundation. I really, really, really like it. I think it's really, really good, and I can see what the hype is about for it, so... Um, yeah, I will do a more in-depth video on it, I believe, soon, but I really like this foundation a lot. Next, I'm going to talk about my favorite blush. It's so random, but my favorite blush of the month is the Galifonia blush from Benefit. Guys, this blush is so pretty. I'm not a big blush person, as you guys probably know. Some of you may know this, but I love this blush. It is this orangey color, and it actually show it smells so good, too. It smells like sweetness, like it smells really good. And it actually shows up on my skin tone and it just looks so beautiful. I actually bought this blush and then Benefit sent me one, so I'm so happy because I love it. I might actually give one away though because I'm probably not going to finish it. Or maybe I will because I love it so much, I don't know. But I love this blush, I think it is bomb. I definitely, definitely think you guys should try it out and smell it and just swatch it. It's so good. I don't know if it's going to swatch really. Ooh, it does. This is the swatch. I don't know if you guys will see, but this is it here. So moving right along, I want to share my favorite highlighter of the month, and it is Oh Darling from MAC. So this is a MAC Extra Dimension, I believe. Yeah, it's an Extra Dimension Skin Finish uh, highlight that was launched about maybe a couple years ago. And it was like a limited edition. They relaunched um, this collection and I got it. I love this blush. This highlight is so beautiful. I'm not wearing it today. Um, I would not be wearing it today, but I love it. And I literally have been wearing this all month long. So next I'm going to talk about lashes because I have quite a few this month. So I'm going to start with the ones I'm wearing right now. These are the Lily Lashes in Mykonos. I think I bought this like two weeks ago and I love them I think they're so so gorgeous um, next I want to mention this Huda Beauty Lash in Farah I love these I used to love the Samantha Lash so much and I decided to venture out and try some different Huda Beauty Lashes and I picked up the Farah ones I also picked up another style um, the Scarlet that I love, which I don't know which Scarlet is, so I'll have to put a picture of Scarlet in here for you guys to see her. But I love those lashes, and also the Intoxicating Lashes from Flutter Lash. Love those as well. Again, I don't know where those are because sometimes, you know, when you love lashes, you just leave them around. But I'll leave a picture of those because I love them, and I think they're bomb. So those are my favorite lashes for the month. So next I want to mention this pencil from MAC. This is the MAC NC15 slash NW20 Studio Chromographic Pencil. And I have been using this a lot. I've had this for about a year now. And recently I have just been reaching for it almost on an everyday basis. I use this literally almost every day recently and I don't know why. But I just remembered I had it and I remembered how much I loved it. And I just have been using it and I love it. I'm wearing it today on my waterline. It just makes your waterline just pop and your eyes look really like wide awake so I love it for that and yeah I've just been loving this it is an older product that I've owned in the past and I just rediscovered it and I have been loving it next I want to mention two products that I recently got but I love them so much already these are from Smashbox they are the legendary lip collection this one is in mauve wife and this one is in mauve squad so mauve wife is more of 
it's the um, this one is a liquid pigment and then mauve squad is a liquid metal and I love mauve squad when I I literally wore mauve squad every single day from the day I picked it up for like a whole week straight I just love the color I think it is so gorgeous and I love pairing them together as well I love topping things with mob squad i love wearing mob squad by itself mob squad is definitely my favorite out of the entire smashbox collection that they recently launched um but yeah those are my two favorites from smashbox so i also wanted to mention the tarte unicorn collection i have to mention the eyeshadow palette i love this palette i think it is so gorgeous these this is what it looks like on the inside did i mention this last month i don't remember but I just think it is so such a pretty, 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 pretty palette. And I was kind of hesitant to get it, but then I just decided to get it anyway. And I went all out. I got a lot of the collection. And I love the palette. I love the brushes. They're so pretty. I don't I haven't used these, but I have used like the eye brushes, and I think they're really good actually. But um, I love the collection. I think it is so amazing. I want to mention some brushes this month because I actually discovered a few really, really good brushes and I just thought I would share that with you guys. I have two brushes from Morphe that I have been loving so much. I hauled these earlier this month and I love them, you guys. The first one is the Morphe M531 and this, I believe, is a blending brush, but it works really, really good for highlighting and I use this for highlighting today. I have used this since I purchased it for highlighting and it just makes the highlight go on a lot more smoother than my other highlighting brushes. Um, I love those other brushes but honestly this makes the highlight just go on so much smoother. It's really strange and I didn't think that a brush would make that difference in how buttery the highlight applied but it really in my opinion just makes the highlight apply a lot more buttery than the other brushes that I used to use so I I love this brush and it's not even for highlighters but I think it is definitely really good for that purpose and I think I want to say Jaclyn Hill is the one I saw using this for highlight I, I'm not sure so the next brush is from Morphe again it is the E it is an E47 brush and I got this brush to, help to contour my nose. If you're looking for an easy nose contour brush, this is it. Like I literally just go like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, and then I use my other brush to blend it out which is, um, this is the brush I use to blend up my nose contour just like buff it in so it looks more natural. And I love this brush too, so I'm going to mention it because I use this every single day. And I don't know if I've ever put it in a favorites video, but it's the Sigma F35 brush. It's a taper highlighting brush, but I don't use it for that. I actually use it to dust off my setting powder, and that's all I use it for. And I, dust, I also use it to blend in my nose contour. So I love this brush a lot. I also wanted to mention a couple products from MAC. Alright, so this is the MAC lipstick in Uncontrollable. It's an orange color and honestly, I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. But I really, really love this color and I've never owned a lipstick in anything remotely close to this shade. It is a gorgeous shade and it is a limited edition, I believe, so if you have it available, um, pick it up and don't just pick it up by itself, but pick it up with this gloss because this is my next favorite. It is Oh Baby from MAC and together I just feel like these they make the perfect combo the most perfect combo ever I love the way they look together I'm not wearing it today I'm actually wearing the Jouer lip topper in tan lines and I just want to see how close it is it's actually really close to this but it's not a gloss as glossy as this one so I just wanted to see how close they were because I just realized how similar they looked but they're not they're not really that similar Anyways, you guys, that is it for my monthly favorites of April, which is crazy. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Also, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click this little circle that right you see right there, that circle. Yeah, so just click it, and then you can subscribe to my channel. And you won't miss another video from me.